All right, welcome guys to um, the conclusion of the Maroon Fest, the 2024 Maroon Fest. I'm here with Chief Richard Curry. Welcome, Chief. Thank you, sir. All right. You. And, you know, what I want to say is, <clears throat> as I was just saying to um, Ras Babi, that one of the things that Africa and the African tradition is noted for was the fact that there was a space and a respect at the round table for what they would call the shaman or the natural healers. And we saw that same invitation or that same importance being placed in your mindset and in your approach. We had a, a wonderful delegation from Africa and there were many persons that could have been at that table, but yet you made that space for the natural healers. Um, I wanna thank you on behalf of Bobby and as, on behalf of the wellness community I want to extend, I want to thank you very much for doing so. You know, I, I also want to say that, um, you know, my thoughts, I, I have, I, I, you know, January 6th was my birthday. And I can't, I couldn't be anywhere else than in a compound for an event that was well executed. And I want to say that um, this was something, Chief runs a very tight <laughs> um uh, management um, entourage and I must say with a limited human resource it couldn't be better executed so congratulations thank you sir. you know thank but I wanted to say to you as it relates to you know the whole concept of indigenous Caribbean medicine uh, we see the vision here at a compound where do you see that medicine fitting in all right, well, first of all, thank you and, you know, Ras Babi for just participating and, you know, coming forth with this, you know, real tangible um, assertions on this in Indigenous Caribbean Medicine Initiative. And, you know, we're pleased to be a part of, you know, with this collective mindset um, that wants to bring wellness to the forefront of the agenda for the people. Um, as you know, Indigenous communities predominantly have relied upon their traditional uh, medicine mm -hmm. and that has extended from the knowledge of their ancestors that mm -hmm. has transcended time to now. Mm -hmm. Now what are we doing today to preserve and continue mm -hmm. um, that heritage? Right. Um, I think this is what I would consider the anchor right. for mm -hmm. that initiative, for mm -hmm. that, you know, full blown move as mm -hmm. saying, you know, your medicine is your food, your food is your, your medicine. medicine. Mm -hmm. and the earth has provided you with all the abundance thereof yes. that is for your wellness. Yes. So it is for us, the, the, the practitioners, the shamans, as mm -hmm. you would call them, mm -hmm. to then take this knowledge and, and, and if you want to say alchemically, yes. manifest mm -hmm. right, the benefits yes. that are to be derived mm -hmm. for um, the, the everyday man. It's not just medicine for who can afford it. Mm -hmm it's medicine that you know everyone should be able to afford and i think a compound being at the center of that um is just fulfilling another part of my vision mm -hmm. for the evolution of the new maroon um in today's world in today's jamaica so you know i want to say thank you for just being a part of this journey and i think there's a lot more that will come in the yes, short term right. and the feedback that we got yesterday mm -hmm. from the few we had presented to and even on the symposium mm -hmm. you know monumental day you know yes. in that space and having all those speakers there together i think mm -hmm. culminated into um the desired um you outcome, know, outcome. Wonderful. i think what we'll be looking for now is the linkages going, going forward. forward right and i, and I just want to say that um i am here you, you and i've said it to you that one of the reasons why i'm here among the many is because chief curry is one of the few persons who are still standing up for the protection of the beautiful environment and this beautiful ecosystem that we have and one thing i want to say is that for indigenous people like yourself and a compound this did not start and this was not an issue when there was the threat of the environment affect, affecting men from ever since the dawn of time the maroons has always placed a premium i always say that indigenous people's reverence and respect for nature borders and worship as a matter of fact there are many persons who when they see your display and respect for nature 
they actually wrongfully accusing you, accuse you of nature worship. But that is how powerful that that, that reverence is. And, and so because of that, I know that this is not political gimmickry. This is not for any type of political mileage. This is a respect that is profoundly in your blood that you have benefited from, that you have seen for years to come. And that is also one of the reasons why I believe that if you care about Jamaica and care about the environment of Jamaica, you need to stand with this man. That is the reason why you need to support him. If you don't agree with him for anything else, even for that reason, you need to stand with this man. So I'm looking forward to seeing you next year at Maroon Fest 2025. Thank you again, Chief. Thank Murray. you. Thank you, bro. Wonderful. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right.